Hi friends, in this video we will see how to use uh, substring and uh, instring uh, oracle string functions. Uh, have uh, shared, I'm going to share my screen where we talk about uh, how to use these two functions substring and instring. So substring, if you want to get a portion of a string field, that is a varchar2 field or a char field, how we can go about getting a portion of your only a, a subset of your uh, string. Let's say in this case, right, my e name. I want to get first two characters from my e name. So what I mean by first two characters in my e name? In case of Peter, it's P. E. In case of Smith, it's S. M. Jones, a J. O. Right. So let's say that this is my requirement. Uh, why we have this requirement? We'll come to that uh, before the end of this uh, session. Uh, so let's say the function that I will use to get the first two characters is I'll just say select. I'll use this function substring. So this substring is an Oracle predefined function. And you can see, right, uh, this function accepts three input parameters. So what's the function before that, right? Function is something which, right, you give some inputs, it processes that input information, and then it gives you an output back. So that's a function. So the substring is an oracle supplied function. So it accepts three input parameters. The first parameter is the character string. From that string, which position you want, right? So that's the string we pass. And second is the position. From which position you want how many characters. So as I said in E name, I said I want first two characters. So I will say select substring of E name. Position is 1 because I want it from first character, right? So I'll say 1 and then substring length is 2. So let's see what I'm getting here as an output, right? I'll say select substring of E name, comma 1, comma 2, and let me run this, right? 1, comma 2 from EMP table. So these exercises are using Scott schema only, which is widely available. App. So now you get only P, A, S, M, A, L, W, A, J, O, first two characters. Okay. So what's the another variation? Is there another variation? So if I want right from the second character, only one character. Let me see, print only the second character. My requirement now is right, I want to print only the second character. When I say only the second character, I will say second two and then one. So now what I will get as an output is the second character. So what we expect to see here is something like E M L A. I do this. So E M L A V C. Next question is right, is it working fine? Is it how do I verify? You can just right type in E name column again and then you run it. So you get to see substring E name E M L A O A L. Right? This this is a second character. And, uh, and now, right, let's see what happens if I skip the third parameter, third input parameter for this substring function. If I s skip this function, basically what it will print is it will print from second character till the end of that word. So it will print something like eater, myth, lamb, odd, owns, right? So let me try it again. I will just copy and paste it here. And I'm copying and pasting it over here. And I'm just skipping it. So what I see is right. Hope you got it right. I'm printing from the second character till the end of the character. So do we have a requirement for these kind of scenarios? Yes, we do. We have a requirement for these kind of scenarios. We'll see it in a minute now. So this is how substring works. Substring, e name the character string, from which position, and how many characters you want. If you see, the second and the third parameters are number integers, right? Uh, now moving on, I'm going to just touch upon the, uh, let me run this, the original enum SQL again. So now, right, let's try to see, I want to know the occurrence of L, character L in a string. So is there a function for that? Yes, there is a function for that. And uh, that's the function. The function name is in string, I-N-S-T-R. It's called I-N-S-T-R. So now let's see 
what I'm saying is select, I'm just going to type INSTR right in string and let's see what happens. In string of ename, the character which I'm looking for, okay, and I just give this, let's see, I just give this and let's see what happens. Ename from EMP. I'm not saying from which position, if you see right, I haven't given from which position which occurrence, nothing I have specified. So let's see what happens, right? So it sees from the default the first character and then it says L, 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 L. So if you see here, right, it just shows that, uh, so L is there in Alan of the second position. You can ask me it's there in the third position as well. So it's not showing the second position. Second L that's occurring. For Blake, click, right, Miller, it's in the third position. Hope you guys got it right. I'm just saying in string E name, comma, L. So from left, the occurrence of the first position. If that, there is no occurrence, what we get uh, for in string, I get zero, zero, zero. Right, so now, let me see whether I run the same output again. I will just going to the same SQL, right? So the beauty is with this, with respect to SQL, the same column you can refer any number of times. Now I'm going to say in string of e name comma l comma one comma one. I'm saying from first character, first position, right? So so let's see what happens. Is there any variation? I don't see any variation, right? It's all one and the same. Okay, zero, zero, 003. So now I'm going to see from third character first position I want from third character first occurrence. So I just change this. Let's see what happens. The thing that you guys have to closely observe is this particular third column. L over here, L over here, L over here. Let me run this. Right. It returns the first occurrence for Alan from third position is the position 3 it returns. For Blake, earlier it used to return second when I just gave in string of e name comma l. In this case for Blake it's not returning anything. Same for Clark as well, right? Because we are checking for only from the third position, only for Alan it's there and you will see for Miller is also there, right? So let's see, let's let me let me again rerun the SQL right. I want to know the second occurrence of L. In the name, second occurrence of L. So what I'm going to say is I'm going to I'll just remove this and I'm going to say occurrence of second occurrence of L from the first position. Second occurrence for Alan it shows. But if you see for Blake and Clark L appears only once, so there is no cons there is no second occurrence. So that's the reason why for Alan you see L over here, and for Miller also you see L over here. So what's the next tutorial is going to be right is more in terms of how I can use these functions for my test data, right? Uh, let me run this as a script. I've inserted the data. I'm committing this data and uh, select star from ex underscore sub in string. Right, so my requirement is to get this data in three fields. Uh, first field for the title, second field I want Neil to be appear, and third field I want Johnson to appear. So I want to basically split this using the substring and end string function. We'll see it in the next uh, demo. Thank you.